so this is me, Mr. Red Fox. Um, uh, this is a this is some gameplay of me playing Celestian Tales, uh, Tales uh, of the Old North. Um, it's a RPG made in Unity. It's short. It's about 10, 15 hours. Uh, I got this off of GoodOldGames.com. <clears throat> it's also on Steam, but I got it on GOG because they had a better sale for it. But I digress. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I've noticed a disturbing trend in the gaming community where people are continuously making videos and uh, posting rumors and they're excited about, you know, talking about the NX, right? And my question is, why does anyone give a shit now? Like why it makes no it makes no uh no sense and i'll, I'll tell you why <clears throat> i'll tell you why uh, it makes no sense once i lay I, I put forth my argument so basically you're seeing a lot of people say well uh you know we need a, a console that has x amount of games certain amounts of features um and they want this they want that this that and the other and we're constantly hearing from people, you know, saying that, well, you know, um, you know, what's Nintendo going to do with their next console? And my question is, why do you give a shit? Because you didn't give a shit about their last two consoles. Like the their 16 console was the GameCube. People shat on uh, shit uh, shit all over that console. I don't want that purple lunchbox. I'm a I'm a real man. I got a PS2 or an Xbox uh, Xbox, right? And then they came out with the uh, with the with the with the PS with the uh, with the Wii, and even though that sold gangbusters and Nintendo made lots of money off of that system, both on the hardware and the software, people were like, "Fuck that system." So then we go to the um, to the PS4, right? Sorry, the yeah to the PS4. And with the PS4, we get a little something different. Uh, no, sorry. Then we then we go to the uh, to the to the eighth gen, and we get the Wii U. And yet again, we're hearing, "Man, fuck that tablet controller!" Right? So that's three gens. Nintendo made lots and lots of money um, off their consoles: the GameCube, the Wii, and and the Wii. They're making money off the Wii U. Um, I know people will tell you this bullshit. Wow, well, that's it goes against the the grain. Blah 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 blah. But I mean, numbers don't lie. Nintendo's making money off their GameCube and their and their and their 3DS uh, with software sales. So I mean, I mean, whether or not you agree or disagree, you can't deny that they're making money off the shit. So it's not the abject failure that people would have you want to believe. So basically, they're making money off of their shit, and people are mad about it. People are like, oh, "How dare you!" How dare you like this console? How dare you like this this game? Fuck you. And yet now, you know, after three gens of their console getting shat on for being a, a gaming console, which the sole purpose of a gaming console is to play a game. Everything else a console does is superfluous to that simple fact. It's made to play video games. If it can't play, if the games aren't, if there aren't games to play on it, or the games that are on it are lackluster, then that console has failed. Um, but now we've got people who are mad about that. Oh man, fuck, fuck this system, blah, 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 whatever. So that leads us to this conclusion. Um, why does anyone give a, like, a lot of these people, they didn't give a fuck about the GameCube, they didn't give a fuck about the Wii, they don't give a fuck about the Wii U. Why do you care what their next console is going to be? You haven't given a shit for three console gens. So why give a shit now? And I have a, I have a, I have an answer to that question after the cut. So I'm back and uh, it's time to talk about the the question and the answer. Now, the question was, why do these people give a shit now when they obviously didn't give a shit years ago? They were like, eh, I don't give a fuck about this. Uh, fuck this system. Um, you know, 
the three console gens. Didn't give a fuck about the GameCube. Didn't give a fuck about the Wii. Didn't give a fuck about the Wii U. And now they're what? What's what about the next console they're coming out with? Um. And I think I have an answer to that to that question. I think the reason people give a shit now is because um, Microsoft and Sony didn't deliver on what they promised, right? Like, Microsoft and Sony were, well, they gave the impression that they were going to be giving people new and interesting ways to play games. There was going to be innovation. And basically, we've been getting the same shit we've been playing over the last few years, basically. Like the last two, three gens. Nothing has really... The only people who have made something new is Nintendo. Um, I know some people are going to get mad when I say that because people like to get mad uh, when you mention facts and figures. But like I said, the only people who have actually been making something new is Nintendo. Uh, everyone else has just been making the same shit over and over and over again. I mean... Microsoft uh, gave a lackluster Halo. Um, Sony's first party games are shit, regardless of how well you want to look at it right now. Um, you know, Killer Instinct, uh, that's like you got a third of a game every few months. You know, season one, season two, season three, whatever. Um, yeah, and they're like, yeah, we're going to take a rare IP. Instead of making a new Battletoads or a new Conquer, we're going to put Rash <laughs> into. <laughs> into Killer Instinct, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, look, there is not a t-shirt Phil Spencer can wear that's gonna fix the fact that that's a shitty deal, uh, whether you like Killer Instinct or not. So, I mean, basically, I mean, people are getting, people got taken advantage of, bamboozled, hoodwinked, <laughs> tricked, and people are starting to realize they got fucked over. So now they're going to look at, you know, the granddaddies of this industry. Not your real granddaddy. The one your, your grandmother married after your real granddaddy turned out to be a prick. Uh, and people are like, I can't believe that uh, they're expecting something better now. Which I find hilarious because they were like shitting all over Nintendo two, three console gens ago. Now they're like, oh, wait, maybe they'll come up with something awesome. And I'm going to tell you right now, no matter what the NX is, it's going to be something that's not going to live up to your expectations. If you're expecting it to be a conventional console like um, the uh, whatever it's going to be called, it's probably not going to be called the NX. If you're expecting it to be um, you know, a traditional console, you're going to be shit out of luck because Nintendo don't Nintendo isn't playing the game that Microsoft and Sony is playing. They're playing. Like, Microsoft and Sony are playing checkers. Nintendo's playing chess, or should I say Go or Shogi, okay? They're playing a completely different game, okay, than Microsoft and Sony. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, you can care all you want to. You can have all of these expectations. It's not going to live up to what you think it's going to be. So, gird your loins and prepare to be disappointed. Uh, if you're one of those gamers who thinks it's going to be uh, like a conventional console, uh, you're, you're going to be sorely disappointed. But whatever. Um, just wanted to get that out there. Uh, There's some great gameplay. Um, I'll leave a link in the description and in the video itself where you can leave a uh, question for my Q&A for my uh, game uh, 100th episode uh, a week from now. Um on the 21st so look forward to that it's gonna be awesome and uh peace out